Hello my dolls! Welcome to another cello tip video. The three most common mistakes made when you begin to learn vibrato. This video also serves as an introduction to vibrato boot camp. I am so excited. Chelly and I have made a four week curriculum for you dolls and it is going to launch a week after this video comes out. Chelly and I don't want to do it alone. So we are asking you to be our practice Buddy, to stay fully updated with the boot camp, make sure you subscribe to the Cello Doll channel so you guys get notified by that bell icon when a new video of the boot camp comes out. Also, to show your support, please be sure to like the video and share it with other cellists who might want to work on their vibrato, and they can also be your practice buddy. And lastly, I am also on Patreon if you dolls want some monthly perks, including discounted lessons, so be sure to check all of that out in the description. All right, so those three frequently made mistakes when you're first learning vibrato. If we're able to get past these, it's going to make your learning experience with vibrato so much easier. So the first frequently made mistake or misunderstanding is that vibrato primarily happens in your wrist and fingers. However, this is a really easy mistake to make because when you watch a cellist do vibrato, <laughs> You will see the wrist and fingers shaking and oscillating back and forth. However, the source for that lush, wide, juicy vibrato I know you dolls really want actually originates from our back and through our arm. So this whole part is also moving and shaking. You can think of it as the energy flowing from my back down the arm and into the wrist and fingers. So a lot of people try to just shake their wrist like this or they wobble it and they don't really get a big lush sound. So I'm going to show you guys one more time with the power of moving magic, my vibrato again, and really focus on the arm rather than the fingers. <laughs> Okay, so that will make a huge difference in your learning process and, spoiler alert, the first episode of Vibrato Bootcamp is going to be about unlocking that feeling. How can we tap into our arm and not be so focused on the fingers? So that's extra incentive for you guys to come. See what I did there? Okay, so you can do some slides. That's a big motion. When you shift, you are in touch with your arm. It's not just about your fingers or your wrist. So doing some slides can remind you of that motion. Opening and closing your arm this way to the side, forward. So be in touch with the feeling of your arm and allowing your arm to shake when you work on vibrato. So the second most frequently made mistake is thinking that starting with a super fast vibrato is a shortcut. Well, I will tell you dolls, when it comes to learning the cello, there aren't really that many shortcuts, okay? So really focusing on slow vibrato is super important. If you just start fast right away, it's hard to go the other way trying to slow down your motions. It's really hard. Think about when we're babies, right? We crawl, we walk, and we run. We don't start running right away. That would be very interesting to see, but it's all about understanding the mechanisms of our body, being able to process things and learn efficiently. So really focusing on a slow vibrato is so important than just thinking to yourself, I'm just gonna start really fast because it sounds close to the real thing and I can make it work and it just makes me really excited. It's gonna give you a lot of problems down the road. So slow work is actually gonna be more efficient for you. 
So if I try to do a super fast, as good as I can get it vibrato, there is so much tension going on in my body. And that is the third tip, not being aware of where to look for tension. So when I was just trying to focus on speed and not thinking about anything else but moving my fingers really fast, my bow hand and arm got tense. You might have heard my tone sounded tight. And the biggest source of tension that I find comes from the thumb. The thumb likes to squeeze when something unexpected happens in the hand and it's pressing and that can lead to so many problems. Not just it hurts and it's uncomfortable, it could lead to injury, but also you're not gonna be able to get that wide movement or oscillation because when we are tight, we can't move quickly. If you're relaxed and you have good form, you're gonna have much more mobility and you're gonna be able to move quicker. And that also applies to cello vibrato. So to check on the thumb, if you're practicing your vibrato on long tones, long, slow notes, which you should do, take the thumb off the neck for a little bit, have it float, put it back, float, put it back. If you are able to move your thumb, that means it's not squeezing. And when you come back, don't whack the neck. Don't try to land rapidly and hard. It's a soft tap. So another thing you can do when you are holding long tones is have your thumb lightly on the cello neck, start vibrating, then hold a steady note so you stop the vibrato and rub side to side or up and down. However, don't slide it super far out of that first position spot or whichever position you choose. These are tiny, tiny motions. If there's a lot of time between where you can stop vibrating and then, oh, the thumb, I gotta, oh, okay, now I can move it. If there's a lot of time in that switch, then that means you're probably squeezing. So the goal is to make that transition smooth between the thumb being stationary, you're vibrating, and then when you're holding the note, you can wiggle the thumb. So I know that's a lot to say over words, so here's a quick demo. All right, my dolls, I hope those three tips about those frequently made mistakes with vibrato were very helpful for you and that they make you more self-aware when you're working on your own vibrato. For more in-depth look into this and to really spend good quality time with your vibrato, again, I highly recommend the Vibrato Bootcamp that's coming up. I try to make these videos super fun and we do tackle the areas I talk about in this intro video. So share this video with your buddies, get pumped up for the boot camp with me, and again, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps my channel, and it can also reach other cellists who could use this information too. I really hope to see you at the boot camp so you can work with Charlie and I and improve. For the whole month of July, we're gonna be tackling vibrato and at the end of July, there is going to be a live stream with me talking specifically about vibrato and the boot camp. So if you're doing the boot camp and you have questions or something doesn't quite feel right, come to the live stream and you can ask me in real time and I will be so happy to help. So if you are super excited and want to check out the plan early, Look below in the description and there will be a link to a fun calendar you can download or print out and see the plan. 
check it off as you go along and improve and grow. And I really hope you're excited for July. All right, my dolls, Chelly and I will see you soon. We're really hoping to see you at the boot camp and good luck in your practice room with that vibrato work. Bye.